Okay, this is going to be mail call number 15. I actually had a pile of stuff piling up from Allie mostly. So let's go with it. Now, this little guy here, as you can see, is empty at the moment because I used it already. What it was was these things. I think it was the spare flex cable. No, that was the cable one. Let's see, did I have another one of those? Nope. Where did I have that? Hmm. I might have. Sh oh, yeah. So, this is really another one of these. It's um, a more flexible soldering cable, 5 wire. Um, I was going to change the cable in my thing. Um, then I realized one of the uh, handles I had, I bought some new uh, heating elements. They were the wrong ones. They don't fit properly. So, I have to get some more of those. So that was what this is, and that's what this is. So those two are covered. And this one here, I'm pretty sure was these guys. Now what this is, is the little insert in a one plus one phone for holding your SIM card. I broke it right there. That right there. And I got two more pretty cheap off Valley Express. And the new ones work just fine. Then what do we have in here? Now this one, I was expecting a bit more. I think I'm going to buy some uh, that box spools of wire instead because this is a bit chintzy. It's wire, but I expected a little more from them. And then I got this one. These are GSM modules for Adreno and Raspberry Pi. Fairly current ones too. So I'm going to play around with these a little bit. Ooh. Then I have more in the small envelope department. These guys. Now these look like Arduino micros, see? Kind of looks familiar, doesn't it? But they are not. These are actually ARM 32s. And when you combine it with, a, I believe it's called PHP Electro, something like that, um, it uses almost all the converted libraries from Arduino and you can actually dynamically change code on the fly without having to reprogram the thing. So once you got your stuff in here, you could treat it almost just like a little computer. You just can go in at a console and edit and change code and have things happen. And it can be used with the Arduino IDE, if you wish, or with the Microsoft Visual Studio. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I saw it on a um, a video channel called uh, Circuit Something, and the guy went through it, and it's quite interesting how he did it. So I went and bought some from AliExpress, basically the same units he had, just a more of a no-name version. And then I got this. I don't know even what this is at the moment. Let's find out. Oh yes, clocks. We can never have enough clocks. So these are just clock kits. Uh, this is a really big digit one and this is more of an oval one. So those are things to build. Another big one. Now this is supposed to be, if I can get it open, ah, there we go. 
This is a cordless microphone system. So, need some batteries, of course. Nine volt. And then this side is the mic, but I'm pretty sure I can actually use my ear clippy mic. This is a LaPo mic, like it goes on your shirt like this, right? I mean, I'll try it out. But my biggest problem is going to be this side of the unit. This is the um, receiver. And notice that, sure, we're in the 1980s here, and we have one-eighth audio jack. Quarter-inch audio jack, actually. I think it is. And I have to convert that down. So... A little play time for that. And we'll find out what happens with that. And one more. I have this. Big box. And I liked them so much for my breadboarding. You can guess what this is. That's right. Lots and lots of these things. They were dirt cheap. All pre-cut, pre-bent. Oops, better not lose my little instruction book. There we go. Don't need all these bags. <laughs> be pretty bad if I threw one of these bags out and I didn't empty them all. Now, due to the Canada Postal Strike, I actually lost a couple of shipments. Well, they didn't show up here. And that's probably because they got bounced around and I don't know whatever happened to them. Luckily, for most part, buying off AliExpress is like in the under ten dollar five dollar type ideas so I'm not too worried about uh, losing a few items I can always go back and get more so to speak well that's it I don't think I have anything else not that I see nope um, new goggles by the way do, do, do. I can now actually see the monitor more correctly. And I have to try it out with soldering, see how I can see my soldering without having to take the glasses off again. So when I build one of these things, we'll put these guys together. So even right now, sitting here, I can read these a lot clearer than I could before. So that's it for this. Um, I don't think I have anything more coming from Ali at the moment. No. I'm pretty sure. I think I have to check the master list, but I'm pretty sure I, uh, I've collected everything up to date. I think these are the last ones, these uh, STM32s were uh, the last. But that's it. Time to cut this short, and that was mail. I think the next recording will be some assembly work on maybe these guys. And possibly the uh, clocks. I mean, this looks like an interesting clock to build. And we'll see.